Alright, so I'm back from the hunt. And here's a quick wrap up of all the highlighted stuff I found. So here we got the relics. Let's start with that. This is some corn some kind of lever. Might have gone to a sink or a tap water pipe or anything really. You can see where it got broken off at some spots. Right there. It's probably where it's attached. And then we have this plating. It looks really old. I looked and I didn't really see any writing or anything on it. It's pretty much blank. If it ever did have writing, it's probably been wiped. Because it's been under the ground for probably 250 years, maybe. This looks from around the colonial era, so... This could have easily had writing on it that got wiped. And here's a nice chunk of lead. It's also a possibility that this could have been a fishing weight that someone tried to make because there's a blacksmith that was once in the yard. And it's possible that fishing weights were made there as well as other stuff like horseshoes. These are the miners' tags I found since the people who lived in the house in the early 1800s were miners for coal. So probably around the mid 1800s. And then I found these two keys. These two keys were both in the same hole. says they both say tube baker on them I think this one says it says attorney ale in town MFG company so that this um might have been a set of attorney's keys. Now we're going to go on to the coins. These are just the normal clad pennies I've found. These two are 1975, 1978, and 1982. Now we're going to go on to the older stuff. These are from the 40s. These wee cents. There's a bug on this one. Get off of there. Yeah, so these ones are from the 40s. This one's a 1941, and these two are both 1946s. I haven't really scrubbed them off that well, but I will scrub them off later. Let's see if I can get this here. There we go. Let's take it. And there's the 46s. This one's really crusty. And here's the oldest sweet penny I found. It's a 1926. Pretty green from corrosion. Now we're gonna get into the better stuff. Here's a 1904 Indian I found. It's in good shape, I just gotta scrub it off more. You can see it's got a headdress on it and everything. You can see the Liberty. And then here's the back. It's got fine detail on the wreath. You can see the Union symbol and the one set in the back. And you can see 
the reeds around the edges too. These little dots right here, right around the edge, very clearly. And now we're gonna get to the best stuff I found. Onto the silver. Here's a 1961 Rosie I found. No mint mark. So that means it was from Philadelphia. And then here's the one Mercury dime I found. It's an old one, it's almost 100 years old. 98 years old to be exact. It's a 1920. I also gotta go scrub this one off a little more too. It's got a little dirt up here, but this one's also known as mint mark. No mint mark. It's a bit scratched up on the back. And then, this is also a really cool find that I found. It is a 1933 George Washington Cracker Jack token. You can see it says, American Fabius, father of his country. And then it says, join Cracker Jack Mystery Club, save this coin. The Cracker Jack Company, Chicago, USA. So yep, it's a vintage Cracker Jack, first president G, George Washington token. I'm not 100% sure, but if I am correct, I think you find these in your Cracker Jack box. So that's pretty cool. It's a big blast from the past in American history because Cracker Jack was a very popular baseball snack. So yeah, that's about everything I found. And if you enjoyed the video and enjoyed the hunt, comment down below and like and subscribe. And also I'll respond to any questions or comments that any of you guys have. So I'll see you guys in the next video.